Hey, what is up, guys? Welcome back. Uh, first, I want to apologize for not uploading in so long. It's been like three weeks almost. I'm very sorry. I haven't been able to. I've had a lot of homework, school, and stuff like that. And I hope you forgive me. Um, anyways, so again, I'm sorry about that. I just, I'm just i mad at myself for not doing so in so long. And uh, if you watch this video, I want to thank you very much for giving me another chance. I'm sorry. I... I didn't upload it in a long time and um, today we're gonna be working on the desktop app that I showed you in the previous video if you haven't seen the video I'm gonna just go here and do npm start to show you what was the result of it so basically made a desktop app like that don't mind that that was just something I was trying all right and you can close it from here okay so let's go and let's go ahead into our index.html for don't worry about this there's nothing in here just delete it all right um so in here i'm just I'm gonna take this off and i want to make something like a i want to make this into like a template and then we can use a template file to actually print this out so let's just go ahead and uh, uh, i didn't delete that i just copied it I cut it and then I'm gonna go under app I'm gonna create a new file called template.js in here I'm gonna set um, right, I'm gonna make a function oh not an in, not an index sorry I'm in oh I made a new folder my bad my bad all right new file template.js all right now in here I am going to make a new function and this function is going to be called create page and that's going to be our function it's going to take a couple of inputs um, one is going to take the title it's going to take the uh, what is it called the stuff that go in the source like under the under link and stuff like that uh, so it's just called that not source sorry uh, header or head and then it's gonna take the body and I think that is it yes that is it for now okay so first we're gonna set a variable and that's gonna be our uh, page and that's gonna equal actually let's do this template literals if you don't know what this is it's the key just above the escape I, I mean under the escape it's the tilde key just without a shift and then just type that in here and as you can see you can add any variables now by just doing uh, here sorry this I forgot yeah so this and I actually kind of forgot I'm sorry okay right okay okay so I got it you do a dollar sign and then open and close the brackets and you put the variable name so here I want the body to be in here so basically this is our template you know you have all of these you have the title you're gonna have the title in here and here we're gonna so we're gonna do this yes title and under here we're gonna paste uh, not paste I mean, we're gonna put in all our head stuff and we have the title here and that's the body now this variable is set and then we can go here and do document dot write and what's the name of the variable I've got page page yeah page document dot write page now this should work uh, so if we go ahead here and index and we do require oh sorry first we gotta do a script and if I do require uh, this folder template.js and then after that we're gonna do create we can create our variables in here so title and we're gonna name that in uh, index page and don't forget the title is gonna be shown like right here and then we can do uh, or we have the 
the, the head. We're not gonna have to add any to that right now. Let's just leave it blank. No. And then we have the body. The body, just gonna add like a, what is it called? Like a link, I'm just gonna add a link. And let's use template letters too. All right, so, and here we're gonna do a, a href equals uh, Google link to Google. All right, so now we got all these set up and we can go ahead and do create page. And we're gonna pass in the title and then the head and then the body. If I'm not mistaken, title, head, body. Yes, okay. And document dot right, what this does it, it is it rewrites the whole page. So it will remove all of this and instead put all of this in it with the values that we sent in here. So you can actually like have a form here or whatever you want. And what this does is it's gonna give us our, uh, it's gonna give us our like shape, like the, our uh, design. It's gonna have effect on the whole thing, like on all the pages. For So for each page, we could just do this basically. And let's go ahead and run this. Hopefully this will work. It worked with me before. I'm probably missing something if it didn't work. Okay, it didn't work. Let's go kind of shift I. Let's create page is not defined. Create page. Okay. Uh one second. Let me just check it out here. So I require the template. Function create page. Uh, okay, I'm just gonna check it out. And I know I know the mistake that I did, I just don't know the fix. I'm pretty sure you cannot just like run create page from here, but I forgot how I did it last time. Uh let me just check one second, sorry. Okay, I'm back. I found the solution. Um, all right, so the the thing is, I'm using this wrong. First of all, I'm not exporting the function. I haven't worked with JavaScript in a while, so <clears throat> yeah. And here I'm doing this wrong completely, like this and this. All right, so all right, let's go ahead and fix those very quick, and I'll teach you what I did wrong. I'll show you what I did wrong. First of all, we need to export the function, so we can have module dot exports. And we can have it equal to this, like this, and put whatever we want to export here. Or you can also do module.exports.create page equals create page. And that will export our function and we can use it anywhere we want. And here, instead of doing this, we can do a constant uh, template equals require the template and then we can do here template dot create page and then we can do all this and hopefully this should work and if it doesn't um, then I will have to figure it out again but this should work right, so if we go here and PM start all right here you go see it's working let's see if those work okay works perfectly all right, um, so that's my recording software, sorry. And all right, so that is working so far. So if we change this, let's change this from a link to like a, an input. Type equal uh, text. Um, that's all I need for now. Let's just do this and you'll see it change. All right, here you go, and you have all the functionalities: maximize, unmaximize, minimize. All right, all that. All right, good. It all works. That is perfect. And I used to do this with PHP a lot. I love doing this. I call it my page handler. So, um, and usually I would do like 
Well, I'm not going to show you. That's different. All right. So now that this is done, let's go ahead and create some pages. I am actually going to create the home page without recording it because it's just going to be pure HTML and CSS. And actually, it's just going to be pure HTML. I'll do this CSS with you guys. All right. Sorry, I've actually decided to do this on camera to show you a couple tricks that you can use. So uh, something you might have noticed is that I changed this from null to this. And no, that's not what you should do. You should have it on null if you're, it's going to be empty. But mine is not. That's why I changed it. So um, yeah, what's wrong here now? Okay. Yeah, mine mine is not null right now. I'm going to change it. But anyway, I just wanted to show you that instead of like typing here, like doing like a div or whatever, and it's not going to work with Emmet if you press tab. So you can just type him here and then copy paste them over there. So first let's make, uh, I'm going to make something kind of like a bootstrapper for my, for me. And it's called this uh, center and 80 width by 100. And that's going to make our width and height. And it's going to center the div. Now that's not, that's not made yet. I'm going to make it in front of you guys to show you how. And um, yeah, that's going to be simple. So let's go ahead and just, I'm going to type in hello here. And put this here. All right. Now that's why I, w I made this and I was at the point where like I made, I did this. All right. So let's go ahead now and I'm going to type in what we're going to need. We're going to need CSS only. That's it. So just copy one of these. All right. I'm going to name this bootstrapper. CSS and then I'm gonna con control X control V and okay now this one is done and this is gonna add this right here right under here so here and you can add more than one and you can just type them next to each other all right so now that this is done let's go ahead and create our bootstrapper I'm just going to copy this file name. And if we go under CSS, new file, bootstrapper. All right, so I have all the stuff like I need that I need like in my reset. And if you remember, we did this like to reset the page and stuff. So now I just need to create center. And whatever has the center here. And why is this green? Do not use empty row sets. What is it? Okay. Um, all right, so I'm just gonna do center here, and then I am going to make it a position absolute and display block, which it already is, but some items that we use this on might not be. And I'm gonna do transform uh, translate minus 50. I'm sorry, not minus. Actually, no, 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 here, so, here, sorry, first, top, 50%, and left, 50%, and then we're going to translate minus 50% on both the X and the Y, and what this does is it's going to center it perfectly on our page, because um, first it's going to move 50% uh, from the top of the page, and then 50% from the left of the page, and then it's going to go back 50%, um, like of its own width on to, to the left and it's going to go up 50% of its own width of its own height up okay so that's going to center perfectly and then we had 80 x 100 why is this so actual or selector expected this is a selector am i forgetting something here Alright, what am I? What am I forgetting? I don't got it. Transform, translate. Um, maybe we can't use numbers just like that. So let's just do um, uh, width. Okay, let's just do this. Width shady. Height 
She can't do it. Okay, let's just try this. Alright, so with 80. Okay, I guess you can just like use numbers for classes. <coughs> Alright, um, so now we're gonna give that a display of block because some items that we use this on might not be. And we're gonna give it a width of 80%. And then we're gonna do the same for the height. We're just gonna change width with height. And you can go ahead and make this for like all the values that you want. Like you can do width 75, width 70, and all of them from like 5% to 100. But I would not recommend doing that unless you know you're gonna need it for a fact. That's why I only add one whenever I use it. So now if we save this, this should work. And you, could, you should see this about halfway through, through the screen. So if we go to app, I just want to make this uh, maximize. So if you remember, in create window we can do this. Window dot maximize. All right. So now let's go here and pm start. Just gonna maximize our window. Okay. So it is centered. The height didn't work. Why didn't the height work? Did I? Okay, I know what I did wrong. Sorry, my bad. You guys probably caught this before me. Okay. <clears throat> what is this? Okay, close. Okay, and PM start. This is perfect. Height is 100, width is 80. And you don't notice that this is responsive, so. Oh, these disappeared. Okay, cool. We probably shouldn't make them disappear, but okay. Why did okay? Oh, I know why. Okay, never mind. Ah, uh, we don't really need to fix that. That's actually pretty okay. Hello. We can also give it a different font, for instance. Like if we give it a class Arial, do dot Arial font family Arial. And I do here, here you go. and this is more uh, HTML, CSS than it is JavaScript. I know that, and I'm sorry, uh, but I have honestly no ideas what to show you in JavaScript. I actually have one, but I'm not gonna be able to do it today. It takes longer than I have time for. And um, all right, so just this is gonna be the end of this video. Uh, you can make more pages if you want. I'm gonna push this to GitHub and I'm gonna put the link down in the description below so make sure to check that out. Subscribe if you haven't and again I'm so sorry I haven't uploaded in a while and uh, thank you for watching. Have a good day.